video now this I got suggested this because basically currently we're in lockdown um, which means we can't go on our motorbikes um, and basically I thought I'd do a video to basically explain that how to look at your bike is maintained and protected correctly over the over lockdown period and also over the winter period and a lot of people put their bike into hibernation as they call it um, so let's get to it I mean look at that bike that bike is just lovely isn't it yes it needs a wash I've ordered a hose pipe I'm gonna get some foam stuff so I'm, and once the weather gets better I'm gonna wash this bike it really needs a wash as you can see I went on a ride out so it needs quite a bit of a wash really when I got my first bike my Honda CBF 600 my first bike when I passed my test I got it for something like 1500 quid I bought it I was well chuffed and the battery ran out I had to get a new battery and so and I got the RAC out when that before I got the new battery and they said do you want to buy this and it's the best thing I could have ever got and basically I've had it ever since I got my bike I just take it off this current bike and put it on the next bike off and put it on the next bike and the next bike and the next bike it is a K-Tech um, trickle feeder basically it's like a, it maintains the battery you can do, do different things with it you can um, you can have it uh, come on focus focus fuck's sake focus There you go. You can have a um, use it for your bike, your car, or cold, whatever that means. I guess that means if the battery is really cold, and um, you can do that. But my I have mine tick to motor bike, and it tells you how what the um, the uh, charging stays in. You have the modes. You can the modes to obviously flick through those. It tells you it's on, and you basically just plug it in when you're not using it like curly not and plug it into this adapter here which tells you that, that it's a green so that means the battery on the bike is good and whenever I, whenever I get on the bike I basically just unplug it by um, basically just pressing that there and just plug it. I'm not going to unplug it now because and it's also got this little thing is so when you're riding around you can plug it in to stop it from getting wet when you're riding around which is great what I'd also suggest you do because if you if you if you, um, if you have a bike stood for so long on the tires it's not good for the tires so you have to get the tires elevated so what I what I do and probably most bikers do they put it onto their centre stand which is fairly easy to do you put your foot on it and you you kind of put some oomph into it he lifts it up onto this, onto this bit of the stand here. And you may think, well, why is the other stand up then? Well, I I have this up, base this down basically because if this happens to fail, and also when you take it off, when you take it down as well, if you take the main stand and take the stand off, all the stand, stand fails, falls down to the floor like they do. Um, it has a it has a side stand to. Um, to fall back onto, so it's not falling onto you. It's not, about, it's not falling onto anything around it, so it don't get damaged. It's a great thing, and I think it's a piece of metal hovering in the air. I would also suggest that you turn this 
turn the, um, the the handlebars have them vertical like that well not vertical but like that I will suggest you push them that way because on BMW if you push them that way you can turn the key in there further and it locks there so it says a uh, lock there it's locked at the actual steering column so you can, that's a great another great safety mechanism for this I put quite a lot of safety things on my bike just because it's basically nine, ten grand. Some some bikes are eighteen grand. Some guys are twenty-two grand. You want to protect your assets, basically. So I have a few locks on my bike, and I'm using it just for not for, for deterrence if nothing else. With the disc lock on, that's why you have this thing. This little thing it goes onto the um, handle, and it lets you know remind you don't drive off the other thing I think is a very good thing for the winter especially when you're not riding it for so long they don't all the same size you've got to make sure that they're the right size for your bike because like a sports bike you need a smaller one a big tour and bigger tour you need a bigger one and I got the XL because I wanted I'd rather have more than not enough and um, basically um, it's this cover this cover here Multicolored. I just thought I don't want it black. I want it black and red. Got um, elastication um, around it, so you can elasticate it around the tire there, and good it on elastic as well. And you can elasticate it around these bits here. I mean, should I put it on to show you? I can always take it off again, can't I? As I said, the um, this cover is great, and as you can see. It is on it. So basically, it's, this is. I just like this. I don't know why. I just think it's good. You pull it on from the back because it slides up easier. Make sure the um, your um, your windscreen is down on your bike. Some certain my my bike has a turny thing, like a, a little knob that may lowers it. And depending when you on the um, motorway, you can put it up so it let the hair go over you. So basically, you put it over like that. So it's hopped in there, over the bike, over the engine, but over the engine, obviously you can see the engine is there, over here, and it basically clips in there, these little things, it's great. Now, I'm not going to suck up, I don't know how much K-Tech, um, the, these are, I don't know how much these K-Tech um, chargers are, because the prices may vary depending whether you get a used one, brand new one, or what, what, my, where you buy them from. But I got mine from RAC for about 70 quid, and this was like how long? Five, six years ago. Um, because my first bike kept losing charge, and I was like, right, I got this other bike. I don't want this to lose charge. What can I get when I don't ride it over the winter? When it, what, what can I get when I don't ride it over the winter? So I bought this. May have changed the price now because this has been five, six years since I got this. So it may have changed. I've had what one, two, I've had four bikes six years because you know once the BMW two-year warranty lapses, you don't you have to get another one because there's nothing like BMW warranty. Simple as. I would also suggest, obviously, you have to maintain your bike as well. So I'd also suggest that uncover it every week or two weeks. And just turn the engine over, let the all the crap come out of the exhaust, all the smog come out of the exhaust. Let it get to 50, 60 degrees. I'll tell you on the dashboard what the engine temperature is. Just to, um, turn it over, just to let the smog out and to let the the um, let the bike pump the oil around the engine to keep it lubricated. About 10 minutes for the sake of what the what the cost. If 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 your engine dries out and you turn it over and lubricated, it could be a lot worse. So just take that advice. Make sure you've got plenty of petrol, obviously, in your tank. You're only doing it over. You're not going for a ride. Um, when, you, when it's put away, unless the rolls are nice. Sometimes some winter rolls are really nice. So you have to give it. They always suggest to give it um, a winter ride, even if it's a nice sunny day and it's fairly dry. Get it out there. It's just a great bike, and you should always, you should always protect what you own. Cover it up, protect your asset, because it's, it's like anything. Would you buy a computer, a laptop, and not put antivirus on it? Would you buy a house and not insure your house? Same thing. You've got to protect what you own. These things, these these machines are, are, some people say they are a waste of money, but if you're a biker, 
we love getting on our bike and there's nothing like getting on our bike and going out We've got to protect what we enjoy what we love and also we want to actually get money back for it when we go to replace it you know and to protect that as well so um hope you like this video I'm sorry if I've waffled on but I thought it'd be a nice thing to show you people you love the subscribers thank you again for the subscribers and all for, for the, um, the all the views don't forget to subscribe down there comment like this video um, until the, the lockdown is, is released and we can go on our bike again there's lots more videos on my channel of pre-lockdown rides and the stuff I've had I've done to my bike because of complications I had in my bike it's just a great bike so um, yeah Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon for plenty more videos to come. Thank you and bye-bye.